Presenting the transcription feature, Superman! Now, Superman, courageous visitor from the planet Krypton, who can race a speeding bullet to its target, meets tall buildings at a single bound, and who walks about among ordinary men disguised as Clark Kent, mild-mannered reporter for the Daily Planet newspaper. As you no doubt recall, the Happy Land Amusement Park, owned by young Nancy Bardet, is the scene of excitement and danger. Twice in one day, Midway Martin, owner of a competitive amusement park called Carnival Town, has tried to seriously injure Nancy Bardet so that she can no longer operate Happy Land. But twice, Clark Kent as Superman foiled Martin and his crooked henchman, Kelly. When we last saw Kent, he was waiting outside Midway Martin's office at Carnival Town, applying for a job as a strongman under the name of Bill Jones, hoping to get concrete evidence against Martin and Kelly. In the meantime, everything at the Happy Land Amusement Park seems to be running smoothly. As our story continues today, we find Nancy Bardette and her close friend Lois Lane, the girl reporter, discussing the exciting events that have gone before. Listen. It doesn't look as though anything else is going to happen, Lois. Say, haven't you had enough? A runaway and an almost fatal accident on a roller coaster all in one day. More than enough. You know, I get cold shivers every time I think that if it hadn't been for Mr. Kent discovering that loose piece of track on the sky chaser, a dozen people would have been killed. Incidentally, I haven't thanked him. Where is he? Um, well, um, he had a special assignment to cover. And... Oh, when you see him, Lois, please tell him how grateful I am. And you mean if I see him? Well, you're bound to bump into him since you both work on the same paper. Yes. If he ever shows up, Lois, you're talking in riddles. Is anything wrong? Has anything happened to Mr. Kent? Well, not that I know of, but... There's no telling, and something may happen to him if he keeps on trying to play detective. What do you mean? Well, I suppose I might just as well tell you. Can you keep a secret, Nancy? Of course. Promise not to tell us all? On my word of honor. All right. Come over here where it's quieter. Well, what is it, Lois? You've got me all on edge. It's simply this. Clark Kent suspects that Midway Norton, or someone he hired, removed that piece of trap from the Sky Chaser in order to wreck one of the roller coaster cars. Why, oh, it's almost murder. If someone had been killed. Oh, yes, I know, but putting acid on those parade horses so they'd bolt and wreck the carriage you and I were riding in was attempted murder, too. And yes, someone was responsible for it. Is Mr. Kent positive it was Midway Martin? Yes, but he has no concrete evidence. That's why he left here so suddenly, to get the evidence necessary to put Martin behind bars. Where did he go, Lois? That's what bothers me. I'm afraid he went to Carnival Town to see Martin. Oh, he'd just be fool enough to try and tackle Martin alone. Didn't he better call in the police? What good would that do? You can't throw a man into jail because you suspect he did something. No, there's only one thing I can do right now. Let's drive over to Carnival Town and see what's up. I'll go with you. Don't be silly. You've got to stay here at Happy Land and keep an eye on things. No, I don't. Everything's taken care of. The rides are all working. The concessions are all open. I want to go along. Oh, well, we may run into trouble, Nancy. Trouble's my middle name. All right, you insist, but don't forget, I warned you, we may run into trouble. Come on, the car's over in the parking lot. Not even Lois Lane realizes the extent of the trouble they may run into at Midway Martin's Carnival Town. But at this very moment, that trouble is brewing. Both Martin and his henchman, Kelly, are in the front room of the shack Martin uses for an office. While Clark Kent... Masquerading as Bill Jones waits outside in Kelly's car. Listen. You sure you didn't make my own mistake, Kelly? Yeah, I'm sure. I, I told you what happened. Some guy slugged me when I came out of the telephone booth over at Happy Days. Yeah, I know all that. Well, when I come to, this guy sitting out in the car was bending over me. So I told him I'd give him five bucks to drive me here. Well, on the way, he said his name was Bill Jones. And that he did a strong man act. Go on. He didn't sound like no strong man to me. So just to make sure... I lifted his wallet out of his jacket pocket. And the business card we found in the wallet showed he was Clark Kent, a reporter for the Daily Planet. That's right, Midway. Did he say he wanted a job here? Yeah. He said he'd seen you this afternoon, but you told him you weren't hiring nobody. Well, I've changed my mind, Kelly. I've got a job for him he won't forget. Bring him in. Okay. Let him go. Excuse me, Kelly. Turn into a fish, Ah, forget it. 
step inside. Midway, this is Bill Jones. He does a strong man act. Glad to know you, Jones. Weren't you here this afternoon? That's right, Mr. Martin. You said there wasn't a job for me, but I, I thought Sure, that... sure. Have a seat, Jones. Oh, Thanks, Mr. Martin. So, you do a strong man act. Is that it, Jones? Yes, sir. And a good one. You don't look like much of a strong man. I'll handle it, Kelly. Can you lift a 500-pound weight, Jones? Oh, easily, sir. How about 1,000 pounds? Can you lift that? I think so. <laughs> That's a hot one. Shut up, Kelly. Well, Jones, we'll try you out. I've uh, got something in this drawer here. A bright, shiny, 38 caliber revolver. Now, let's see how strong you are. Let's see whether you can lift your hands way over your head. Oh, Mr. Martin, well, why are you pointing a gun at me? I, I haven't done anything. Who do you think you're kidding? Bill Jones, strong man, huh? You mean Clark Kent, reporter? Frisk him, Kelly. Oh, just a minute. I don't know what you're talking about, Mr. Martin. Not much, you don't. Frisk him. Okay. Nothing out of Midway. I'm sure you're making a mistake, Mr. Martin. Oh, yeah? Where's that wallet, Kelly? Here, right here. That wallet came out of your pocket, wise guy. And the business cards in it prove that you're Clark Kent, a reporter for the Daily Planet. All right, what if I am Clark Kent? I don't want to know why you're stupid around here. And I better know in a hurry before I lose my temper. Hey, you were pretty smart, didn't you? Keep quiet, Kelly. Go ahead, Kent. I don't have to tell you why I'm snooping around, Martin. You know what happened at the Happy Land Amusement Park today. I don't know nothing. All right, then I'll tell you. There were two accidents. One, when the horses pulling Nancy Barnett's carriage bolted and ran away. The other, when the roller coaster car she was riding in almost crashed because a piece of track had been removed. What's that got to do with me? Plenty, Martin. I think you were responsible for both accidents. Why, you dirty... Give it to him, Benway. Take it easy, Martin. You're in plenty of trouble as it is. Oh, I am, and I... Well, maybe this will get me out. Oh! Boy, you sure went with that gun butt, Benway. He's out cold. Tie him up. Get him in the back room. Hey, maybe we'd better rub him out. He knows too much. Don't be a fool. Think I want a murder up hanging over me? What if he does know something? Can't prove it. Got him tied? Yeah. All right, drag him in the back room. We gotta work fast. Okay. Okay, leave him there. He'll be out for a good long time. Come on. Be out for a long time, will I? Well, maybe as Clark Kent. But not as Superman. I had to make believe that wallop on the head knocked me out in order to get more information. Now I'll just rip these ropes off. There. Now I'll step a little closer to the door. Maybe Midway Martin will do a little talking. Yes. Yeah. You can hear them clearly. Open very long. How? Well, I got an idea. They run fireworks in Happy Land, don't they? Yeah, every hour. So what's on your mind? Fireworks are dangerous, don't they? Something could go wrong. What do you mean? Instead of shooting off the regular fireworks, supposing we fix it so that something got shot off, to set fire to the whole amusement park. Nobody could pin that on us today. You sure figure things out, Midway? All right, let's get working. I got some stuff that'll make ashes out of Happy Land in an hour. I don't think you'll make ashes out of anything, Midway Martin. This is just the opportunity I've been looking for. The opportunity to catch you in the act. I'll make sure to get back to Happy Land in a hurry, and I'll be waiting for you. Now, up with the window. And away! Red cloak streaming in the wind, Superman streaks for the Happy Land amusement park like a shaft of light. Confident that at last he is about to get the evidence he needs. In the meantime, Midway Martin and Kelly have emptied the harmless powder from a giant firecracker and are filling it with an explosive that will bring fire and destruction to Nancy Bardet's amusement park. Listen. There. There, she's all set, Midway. Okay, take her over to the car. Handle it gently. Yeah. Come right, I'll open the door. She's pretty heavy. Holy smoke. What's the matter? Shut the door, Midway, quick. What's up? That Bardette dame and her friend are here. You're sure? Yeah, they were getting out of a car. Listen, Midway, she mustn't see me here with you. I'm supposed to be working for her. She won't see you. Get in the back room. Well, what'll I do with this fire? Take in the back room with you. Chances are we won't need it. How come? 
I've got an idea that in another couple of minutes, the Happy Land Amusement Park will belong to me. In fact, I'm sure of it. What new scheme for gaining possession of Happy Land Park is running through Midway Martin's mind? And how does he plan to force Nancy Bardet to give up Happy Land? With Superman miles away, are Nancy and Lois any match for Martin's cunning? Tune in next time and learn what happened. And remember, tune in the next thrilling installment of the transcription feature, Superman! Up in the sky! Look! It's a plane! It's a plane! It's Superman! Superman is a copy.